This is Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 15, and the objective in this lesson is to solve real-world problems involving area of figures with fractional side lengths using visual models and or equations. So we're going to take a look at the homework problem number one, and that reads, the width of a picnic table is three times its length. If the length is five, six yards long, what is the area in square feet? So let's just write our target sentence to start. And that reads, the area is blank square feet. Okay, so we know that the length of the picnic table is five six of a yard. So if I just do a tape here, and this is five six, this is the length, and the width is three times as long. So we want to do one, two, Okay. Okay. So there's one thing interesting here, and I wanted just to point out. So um, our length is five six of a yard long. Okay. So the width is five six, five six, five six. So it's actually fifteen six of a yard. But our answer needs to be in square feet. So we're going to do some converting. So if I have five six of a yard, I need to find out how many feet that is. We can do the way that we've been doing. And it would be 15 six of, of a foot. Um, so if this length, it's a really kind of simple, so I'm going to just make each one of these 15. Now it's converted into feet. So I need to find the area, which means I have to multiply the length of 15 6 by the width, and if I add those together, it's 45, 6, okay? And um, when I multiply those together, I have 675, 6. It's, uh, oh, sorry, 675 over 36. Um, and that's obviously an improper fraction. So when I go ahead and I figure out um, 675 divided by 36, I have 18 and 3 fourths feet squared. So that is going to be the area. So it's 18 and 3 fourths feet squared. So now let's look at homework problem number three. Um, there's a picture that goes along with it. So let me read the question. It says, a decorative wooden piece is made up of four rectangles as shown to the right. The smallest rectangle measures four and a half inches by seven and three fourths inches. If two and one fourth inches are added to each dimension as the rectangles get larger, what is the total area of the entire piece? So I'm going to just label these um, rectangles here. This is A, B, C, D, okay? And let's go ahead and write a target sentence. And that reads, the total area is blank inches squared. So we know that the smallest rectangle, which is A, has the dimensions of four uh, and one half. Actually, let me just fix this model here. Um, so We have four and a half, so this is going to be four, and this is going to be the seven. This is one half, and three fourths. Okay, so here's my um, area model of that. So we're going to go ahead and do the multiplication. Um, we're going to find the area of each one of the rectangles we did. Okay, so when I add all those, all the products together, I have 34 and 7 eighths. Okay, so now I'm adding 2 and a quarter to each side. So I'm going to add 2 and a quarter to 7 and 3 quarters. So it would be, um, let me just do it this way. Be 10 and 4 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 fourth. This becomes, uh, I'm going to make this 4 and 2 fourths. Okay. 
and it becomes six and three fourths. So now um, the block B is has a dimension of ten and six and three fourths. and thirty-fourths over here is equal to seven and one-half so B is equal to sixty-seven and one-half okay let's work on um, C and D on the next page so the dimensions for B were ten by six and three-fourths and we're going to add two and a quarter to each one of those so for C and plus two and one fourth and six and three fourths plus two and one fourth and we have the dimensions of twelve and one fourth times nine let's draw that out And when we do the area model, the areas of each of the uh, rectangles is 108 and 2 and 1 fourth. And the sum of those, so C is going to be 110 and 1 fourth. Okay. Now I'm going to take my 12 and 1 fourth and 9. This is, uh, becomes, this was for C. So now D is going to be. 12 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 1 fourth and 9 plus 2 and 1 fourth and we have the dimensions of 14 and a half by 11 and 1 fourth so let's draw the rectangle for that so 14 and 1 half 11 and 1 fourth to find the area of each of the rectangles. Okay, and when I add all those together, the area of D is 163 and 1 eighth. So in our previous, we're finding the total area. So we need to add uh, 34 and 7 eighths plus 67 and 1 half plus 110 and 1 fourth plus 163 and 1 eighth. And I'm going to do that on the next page here. So we had A, B, C, and D. And A was 34 and 7 eighths. B was 67 and 1 half. C was 110 and one fourth and D was one hundred sixty three and one eighth okay so I'm going to be adding those together so I have thirty four plus sixty seven plus one hundred ten plus one hundred sixty three okay plus seven eighths plus one half uh, plus one fourth and squeezing it in here plus one eighth. Okay. Um, hopefully, uh, this well the students can add the whole numbers no problem. Um, it's the fractions and hopefully they'll be able to see some connections here. But if not, um, we'll, we'll get there. So I have seven eighths and one eighth is going to give me the whole number one. Actually, let me just change that to. And then when I'm combining one half and one fourth, it's three fourths. So the total area is three hundred seventy five and three fourths. And don't forget to label the unit, and the unit is square inches.